There are also two types of measles. There is rubella, German measles, or rubiola. The most common one is rubiola, so I'll be discussing that today. Um, and the topics I'll be discussing are what are measles, um, background information, history, um, symptoms, vaccine, where it's prevalent, and experiments performed towards measles. Also, I'll be performing the eradication of measles. And what are measles? Measles, an acute, contagious viral disease usually occurring in childhood, characterized with eruption of red spots in the skin, fever, and catarrhal symptoms. And catarrhal means respiratory disease such as cold, sneezing, coughing, etc. And here is a picture of a child with the beer case of measles and showing the red spots in the skin or COVID spots that I'll discuss later in the presentation. Um, background info on measles. Um, it's a highly contagious viral disease. Um, it can be spread by contact, sneezing, and coughing. It has a lot of different symptoms. Um, it lasts over a week, typically 9 to 11 days. Um, there's no official treatment. Best treatment is actually prevention. And it's prevalent mainly in children. And this is because mothers pass it on from the um, from their children. So to their children when they give birth. Um, diagnosis. Um, it's a fever and a generalized rash. Um, the clinician performs di the diagnosis. He has to be certified, or he or she has to be certified. And such a cold spots. Um, with any spots in the child's mouth. It's like a clinician performing diagnostics. Um, they look for pneumonia or otis media, um, which is um, it's when it's inflammation in the middle ear. And the middle ear is right behind the, um, the joint. And the diagnostic is typical to perform places um, where the occurrence of measles is low, like um, Europe, or because or there's no epidemics occurring. Um, discovery of measles. Measles has known to come in contact with people since 7th century AD. Um, Muhammad ibn Zakaria Arazi was the one who discovered measles. This is actually a picture of him right there. Um, he described it as a disease more dreaded than smallpox. And nearly anyone was vulnerable to measles, measles because there was no treatment options available or no cures, and no, um, nothing available to stop it. Um, measles in the United States. Um, the cause of measles were discovered by the century for seven Francis Holmes because he noticed bacteria in the blood of patients. Um, he's also um, a Scottish philosopher. And Position. Um, the Mubilla uh, virus reached the United States in the mid 1750s and had a very large impact on the American population. By that, I mean it, it, it reduced the disease, so um, it's had a lot of it killed many other people. Um, epidemics took place um, every two to three years, which is very often. Symptoms, symptoms of hyperphoria, which is a runny nose, coughing, conjunctivitis, pink eye. Those are viruses they got. Um, watery eyes, photophobia, fear, but um, sneezing, um, fever, aches, and rash. And this picture is actually a child showing severe symptoms of these, especially the rash. Um, vaccine was created in 1963 um, because, like I said earlier, the best way to um, 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 stop measles is preventing it. And it's a picture of what they give out those. Um, and Amara, Evan Amara Lee, um, who still was created 20 years later because um, researchers were noticing that um, a lot of children um, showed signs of getting the from the measles once again after they um, were dosed out of the vaccine. So they made the booster dose for increased protection of the disease. Um, about the measles vaccine. One dose is usually given to children. Um, that's the normal amount, like I said earlier, just now. Um, Boost dose is given out if you need it. Eventually, you develop antibody titers from the vaccine. By antibody titers, I mean they, they develop immunity or they can fight it off. As administered in MMRV, as shown in the previous picture, it lasts for years, more specifically, um, it lasts for decades. Um, major improvements are being made towards the vaccine, like it's becoming cost friendly, and soon you won't have to be administered as a needle or syringe. It's located in low coverage continents like Africa and Asia. If you see here, it's actually a key right here. Um, we see continents like here where it's largely prevalent, and Southeast Asia like right here. And it's found in minorities, um, 
um, like African American children or Hispanics or Asians, and to find if it's young children, because I described earlier, mothers pass it on to their children. Experiment, lack of association between measles virus, vaccine, autism, and enteropathy, age control setting. This is an experiment performed to see, um, to see autism links to MMR vaccine. Um, the results were consistent throughout the laboratory sites, and despite the conclusion that there was no relation whatsoever between the MMR vaccine and autism. Eradication, that was discussed for um, 30 years. The important factors are necessary. Um, Humans are like a um, main pathogen supplier, um, accurate diagnostics, um, and friendly interventions, like cost friendly interventions, which means that you will be able to come and help anytime, but it wouldn't be so hefty a price. And there are very uh, many obstacles in the way of achieving this, um, like um, persistent inf inf infection with transmissible measles virus, so clinical infection, which is um, an apparent sign of carrying infection and countries with um, low HIV coverage, because HIV causes lower concentrations of material antibody, which makes it harder to fight off measles. So reference list, acknowledgements, God, Dr. William, Dr. Nib, Ms. Robinson, family, and classmates. And I'm open to any comments, questions, or concerns for yourself. Um, scientists and people, many people are working, organizations like World Health Organization are working to make the vaccine more cost friendly for people. So you know, what is the cause um, an experiment to be conducted to figure out if there was a link between measles and autism? Do you want to that? Um, no, but I'll get back to you on that. 